Hello, I'm David, and I'm going to talk you through how to prepare a VAT return in Sage 50 accounts using the 2015 version. You'll see that to start, I've selected the VAT area from the toolbar at the left hand side, which would then normally show me a list of any previously prepared VAT returns in the area in the middle here. To prepare a new VAT return, simply select the VAT return button from the ribbon bar which takes us to one nice little area that they've brought all of the functions together in one place rather than having to remember to go off and do different things. So firstly we're prompted to take a backup of our data uh, before we go into the preparation of the VAT return. The next thing is to put the dates in that we want to prepare the VAT return for which in my demo data I'll put in that date range and you'll see now that it's prompting us to look at some VAT verification settings. These are verification checks which previously were rather in the background in SAGE but they've brought them forward so that we're a little bit more aware of some of the checks that can be put in place. Just clicking on the settings button shows us that we can ask the program to do things such as identifying duplicate transactions or looking for VAT at transactions that may be outside specified ranges uh, which might lead us to identify VAT entry errors. Some of these verification settings may be are not relevant to your particular operation and therefore you would want to deselect those particularly if you've got a larger data set um, which would then potentially slow down the VAT return preparation. I'm going to leave all of those selected and then go forward and press the calculate VAT return button. You'll see now it's prompting me with that there is an earlier unreconciled transaction. Those of you familiar with earlier versions of Sage will know that in previous versions it would merely come up with a box that said do you want to include this yes or no. Now at least we have some uh, information about the uh, transactions and we can make an informed decision and I'm going to include that transaction. It's now populated the VAT return figures on the right hand side and I can, as in previous versions, drill down into that and then further drill into the list of individual entries that make up those returns. So it's very easy to review that on screen and as in so many areas we've got the ability to export this list to Excel. So once we're happy with those entries on there we can look at um, any results of the verification checks here where you'll see that it has identified some purchase orders that have been delivered but not yet invoiced and some transactions with an unexpected VAT value. Just looking at those it may be that the expected tax is different from the actual tax perhaps because we've overwritten it. Once we're happy with all of those entries there and we can make our, our printouts, we would then reconcile the VAT return, flag the transactions as being reconciled in this return and it takes us to the final screen where we can make a VAT journal which it now puts the correct date in. So I can post the journal and I would then be able to submit this online if this was uh, a real VAT return, this would take me straight to uh, the government gateway and mark it as uh, submitted. If you have any comments on this, then please leave those in the comments area beneath this video, or otherwise check out our other videos online.